Uh, welcome. This is the fifth version of the curved ball beam experiment that we are working on at the University of Maryland, uh, Department of Electrical Computer Engineering. I am in the uh, Chem Engineering Building in our BAE Controls Lab. We're finalizing our curved beam and ball experiment to present in uh, Baltimore at the end of the month here in June of 2010. And this is the final version we think we're going to send off to Baltimore. And uh, we have a curved beam, highly unstable system with a copper ball rolling on top of it. And the system simply stabilizes as best it can the ball on the center. Uh, we have two volts on the left side of the beam, there's ground on the right. Uh, the back of these two curved beams, uh, they're stainless steel. The back one's wrapped in nichrome wire, and it before makes the device, these two rails become basically a large potentiometer, and we're picking up the voltage that the ball is picking up from the back rail transfer to the front rail, and this voltage reference in the front gives us a ball position we can work with. So not only do we know where the ball is located, we can also determine its velocity, and the same with the cart in the back. This position of this arm piece can be determined through a resistor attached to here, potentiometer, and with the two, we can derive velocities and stabilize a highly unstable system with some jitters. We're not too bad. We'll continue to work on this as the day goes on and before we present it. And uh, we'd like to thank Quanzer. They've given us a uh, license for a copy of their latest software, the QUARC, I believe it's pronounced Quark software to use for the demonstration and we're using a Quanzer srv 2 servo plant and uh, Simulink software with MATLAB and Simulink is what we use to help build our iconic models that helps make this platform operational and the ball has a flat spot in it I think somewhere I'm finding out but nevertheless let's see if I can make it I can do it on my own. Let's turn this off and see what happens. So the system's going off right now. Oops. So let me see if I can do something with this. Nope. 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 Can't do it. Let's let the computer take over again. Much better at this than I am. Yeah, we got a flat spot here. here. We can put a disturbance into the system by pushing on one side. Then we can also change the position of the ball where it thinks the zero reference point is. We can move it to the right. Now I can move it to the left. Put it back. We can also change the zero reference point of the uh, beam. A little bit. There we go. And that's it.